Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Chris Leyland. I'm Director of Investment Strategy here at True Potential. I'm delighted to announce that we will be launching a new income solution and that solution is in partnership with Waverton. In respect to that, uh, we have James Mee, the lead portfolio manager. And James and I are going to discuss the key features of the True Potential Waverton Fund. So maybe, James, if I pass over to you, if you introduce yourself. Yeah, happy to. Thanks, Chris. So my name is James Mee. I'm co-head of multi-asset strategies at Waverton. Uh, and I manage specifically multi-asset funds and strategies at the firm. Uh, I sit on the Asset Allocation Committee and the Global Stock Selection Committee. So I cover both the top down and the bottom up perspectives of our investment process. Uh, and I'm gonna be the lead manager on the Waveton True Potential Multi-Asset Income Fund. Excellent, no, thank you, James. That was a great intro. And I guess maybe just digging a, a little bit deeper there, just to really think about you know, who are Waverton, a little bit around the, the core philosophies of Waverton overall. Yeah. Yeah, very happy to. So Waveton's a name that many of you might not know. We're an owner-managed business based in London, Piccadilly in London, uh, and we're an investment-managed business. We were founded in 1986, and today we're managing about nine billion sterling uh, in AUM. And we manage money on behalf of high net worth, ultra high net worth, uh, charities and other institutions. Uh, and we do that across a range of strategies. So that would include uh, specific asset class, specific uh, strategies, uh, as well as multi-asset strategies as we are with you uh, and risk managed. In terms of the core philosophies of the firm and, and in particular how we think about managing money on the desk and within the investment team, really we start with risk uh, and that permeates everything that we do. And when we talk about risk, we, we're not talking about volatility per se. We define risk in two very specific ways. The first uh, is underperforming inflation. Uh, so not maintaining the real value of capital invested over the long term or over the period of your investment time horizon. And the second is permanent capital loss. And combined, they really instruct everything that we do from a bottom up stock selection perspective, but also from portfolio construction perspective. Um, we're global. As I've mentioned, we have a we have a legacy of investing globally going back all the way to 1986. We're multi asset and we invest directly. So this is not a fund of fund strategy. We're investing in in equities, in bonds, uh, and, and in listed real assets, etc. Why choose Waverton? Um, really, it's, we think it's the investment pedigree of the firm, of the team, of the individuals, but combined with the collaborative culture that we have as a firm and on the investment team. Another reason is, is the risk-based philosophy. Risk coming first is not something you hear very often. It really is how, it really does instruct how we invest, how we invest, and how we think about capital allocation. We have a very clearly defined, clearly repeatable process, and we have a proven track record of delivering very strong risk-adjusted, not just absolute, but risk-adjusted returns across a number of different market environments. And you've had all manner of different market environments in the last two years in particular. James, that, that was fantastic. That was a really, really good overview there of Waverton. I guess maybe if you want to sort of bring it to the strategy that you'll be running for us here at True Potential and just maybe sort of bring that to life around the, the goal of the funds. Um, just think a little bit around, I guess, you know, for clients who are listening, you know, what's really the, the sort of unique selling point of those funds? Yeah, yeah, again, good questions. Very happy to. So the primary goal of the fund and the strategy that we're launching with you we're looking to compound real returns through the cycle. Now, I mentioned that we're that we're real return investors. So we're looking to do UK CPI plus two and a half through the cycle. And we think that's eminently achievable. Now, the way we want to do that is by focusing on three key objectives. The first is growing the capital invested ahead of inflation over time. Secondly, we're looking to pay a consistent and sustainable dividend. We'll pay it on a quarterly basis. And the third point is uh, drawdown protection. So we're looking to protect the, the fund's capital in periods of acute market stress. And we do that clearly by diversifying across any number of different axes, asset class, region, currency, style within equities, etc. Uh, but also we'll be looking specifically to hedge left tail risk. So hedge against the most deleterious outcomes, the sharpest drawdowns, Q1 2020 being a very good example, Q4 2018 being another one. In terms of the USP for the funds and the strategy and how we manage money, we think the focus on risk, I've already mentioned, so as we define it, underperforming inflation, permanent capital loss, and 
Very specifically, USP is drawdown protection. We have a very good track record of protecting capital in the most acute periods uh, of equity market and risk asset weakness. And that will better enable us to compound returns. So those three key objectives that I've mentioned speak to one another. And collectively, they speak to our headline objective of compounding real returns through the cycle. Now, protecting capital will also provide you, provide your ultimate investors, some level of psychological breathing room as well. And it gives us liquidity with which to provide uh, which to provide to uh, an equity market or a risk asset market desperately seeking liquidity, liquidity in periods of market stress. So drawdown protection very much is a USP uh, of what we do. Okay, excellent. No, thank you, James. That was really, really comprehensive. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you very much.